Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time to do some flips. Time to go to the gym. All right, got a nice calm, calm song for today by Zach Bryan. It's a, it's a gooder, it's a gooder. Got back out of the garage here first and get the day started. I'm going, going south. Cause I'll let you play your music real damn loud. Don't stop heading. Out. All right, nice, nice and calm, nice and calm. We're off to the gym, all right? Your good old first training, last training week before competition, before uh, Elite Canada. We leave on uh, Thursday, so we got today, tomorrow, and Wednesday for our last trainings before we leave. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Today I'm not really sure uh, what the what the plan is though for uh, training, you know, because uh, when it comes comp time, I like to, you know, switch it up, throw me out of my groove to get me ready for the comp. So I can try to decide, like, do I just want to do all six events today or what? Maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll do four events today, maybe we'll do five. Maybe we'll do three today, three tomorrow, and then a casual six on Wednesday. We'll see. See how the day plays out as we go. Really? I don't really have anything to talk about this morning, you know? If you guys, if you guys could comment, you know, any sort of questions you uh, would like me to answer, I'll try and talk about them during the car ride. Oh, one question that keeps getting asked occasionally is the writing on my arm. It's just writing from a Sharpie. It's not a tattoo. I'm going to get it tattooed, I think, probably after comp or something. I don't know. We'll see. But, like, it's just Sharpie at the moment. What other questions can I remember seeing on my comments? Uh, oh, someone told me to use, uh, like, super glue on my hands like medical grade super glue and I I don't think that would work it's crazy to imagine how much our hands go through when we're doing gymnastics and stuff and how much our skin can take because like I'm pretty sure if I were to use the super glue it would just rip right off the second I do like one turn it would just peel straight off just because the amount of like force and how hard we're grabbing the bar all it needs is for a piece of the bar to like just clip on one little piece of that glue and it just peels right off and probably rip off some of my skin with it because when our skin grabs the bar our skin's pretty like leveled out and smooth so when it like rolls on the bar it's rolling through like some smooth kind of skin you know it's still calloused and stuff but like it's all kind of leveled out to each other whereas the super glue would add like a layer of it going like that and then it would get caught and rip it off so i don't think it would really work that well like maybe maybe it would maybe i'm wrong i don't know i've, I've tried all sorts of kind of stuff to cover up rips and the best thing i found i guess this is a good time to shout them out uh, uncle mike's healing salve. If you search up Uncle Mike's all natural products, go to his healing salve. It's like 20 bucks for a thing. It'll last you literally your whole life, especially if you're just using it for rips. But you can use my code if you want. It'll give you $2 off, I guess, 20% off. Just Ashton 20, but it's the best rip cream I've ever found in my life. I'll throw in a, depending on if I record myself doing it tonight, I'll throw in a clip right now of me putting on the cream and what I do, my nightly routine before I go to bed. Now, uh, if you're still watching me talk and I didn't actually throw in the clip, uh, what I do is I tape up my hands, or I don't tape up my hands, sorry. I put the cream all over any spot that rips normally or that has a rip, and then I'll put like the, foam wrap stuff on it, then I'll put the tape on it. But before I do any of that, I have this uh, sander thing. So I'll sand down all my rips and all my skin so it's smooth, and then I'll put the healing stuff on, and then it heals it up so quickly. Especially if you sand it beforehand. This store's literally like, just over there. For anyone that goes to, you know, the gym I train at, it's literally right down. So imagine I'm parking in my spot right now, you know, anyone that knows where I park, Boom, like two blocks that way. Great stuff he's got. Highly recommend. Back her up a little more there, yep. Yep, that's fucking almost too much. There's a fire hydrant behind me. I don't have like a rear view camera, so I just use like this general vicinity, vicinity as my reference point. Hoping I get it right. I got it pretty down pat though. Okay, we are at the gym. The red zone, the dead zone, the kill zone, the war zone. Let's get to work, shall we? All right, handstand conditioning. Let's get started. Oh. Oh. All right, time for forward pirouettes. Good way and bad way. Okay. 
scary. <laughs> Almost missed my hand. Okay, reverse. Reverse pirouettes. Good way and bad way. Three each. Swing down stands. Uh oh. Japanese handstand. It for handstand conditioning. Let's go to vault. All right, time for vault. Still got my old mic on, by the way, so I'm gonna buy new batteries for my better mic. I just haven't got around to it yet, so we still have the old mic on. But yeah, two hand springs, one full, and then one double twist, maybe two. We'll see. It depends on uh, how good the double twist and the full is. But yeah, let's get started. Hand spring number one. Awesome. Okay, uh, hand spring number two. Okay, now for the flips. First step's the full twist. Full twist, only one of them. Full twist number one. All right, we're gonna do one more full twist, because that one was not, not the greatest. Full twist number two. There, that was way better. Watch your back, that was actually super good. There's lots of height and rotation, that's nice. All okay, right, now there's one double twist. Unless it's bad, then another. We'll see. Uh, double twist number one. Good. Damn, that was extremely good actually. Like, in general, not like crazy good, but like compared to the ones I usually do, that was super good. So usually we'd finish on a good one, but since it was really good, I wanna see if I can replicate it. So we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna put the camera straight on the side so I can like go home and study it. Hopefully I can replicate it so I can see the correction I did because this angle doesn't give me the reference of what I actually need to study it. So we're gonna put it over there. Hopefully I can replicate it. So yeah, just one more double twist, double twist number two. This is the angle by the way. So I'm gonna be coming from right here. So it doesn't shock you when the camera switches. Okay, double twist number two. It's not bad, last one was better, but it was still good. All right, let's do landings now. All right, one stick of everything, and we're done landings. Done. So clean. All right, we are in the Jeep. Uh, nothing crazy about this morning training, like I said. We're leaving for comp in a few days, so I like to switch up my training. So yeah, we didn't do pommel or ring strength or any anything else this morning, just a basic little handstand conditioning, vaults and landings. That's the same as we normally do, but we normally do more afterwards, but I kind of wanted to switch it up. Do less before a second training. See how my body reacts, you know? Just to know how to handle it and stuff. But yeah, vault was good, really good. Landings felt really clean. Hand sign condition was, 
you know, it's whatever. It's, it was good. It was handstand conditioning. So yeah, good first training. Uh, and I also wanted to do pommel in second training instead of in first training. Because the whole point of me doing pommel in first training is to like throw me off my game. And just to like feel how it feels differently to do it in the morning instead of how easy, how much easier it is to do it in second training. But since comp's coming up, I kind of want to just do pommel in second training. So I'm actually prepared for like the competition. Because the feeling you get of doing pommel, you, it's never going to feel like how it feels in morning training. Because morning training, it's all like, oh, you're tired. There's no one here. There's no one really to like push you to try harder. Competition, it's like you got all this comp adrenaline. So I gotta kind of adapt to feel that. So that's why I'm gonna do it in second training. And then we'll probably do some ring strength or something at the end, or maybe no rings at all. I have a very basic, basic routine set up for me to compete for rings. All my other events are gonna be good, solid routines. Rings is just gonna be hopefully clean and just a very simple routine that I'm not like the proudest of, but it puts an all around score for me. That's kind of the point of it. And then hopefully by nationals, it'll be at one point higher in start value, either because I've improved it or because the pain went away. Like if I had no shoulder pain right now, my rings would be really good, but you know, so it's gotta be some sort of excuse, whatever. Okay, that's the end of first training. I'll see you guys in second training. All right, welcome back. The, the gym to second training. We got uh, the good mic on now, the expensive one. I got batteries for it in between trainings, so you're welcome. Uh, it also makes it easier for me to edit because when it shows the audio spikes and stuff, it shows them more efficiently, so it makes it easier to make my cuts, so it helps me out. But yeah, enough talk about the freaking mic. Let's, uh, let's get started on the floor. Okay. We're gonna warm up, see how it feels, and then we'll decide kind of what we're doing. But uh, see the routines, maybe skills, however I feel, because we leave in a few days, so I don't need to force anything. Whatever I've done for training leading up to this moment is what I've got. And these next few days before we leave for comp is just for to keep me intact before we go. All right, so let's warm up and get started. Zoom you guys in so you can see what's going on over there. All right, there we go. All right, that's the mat we're gonna use today. Guys, I didn't die, that was the goal. Hey guys, I was 14. You can probably only see two of the skills because I cut out from the camera for everything else, but it's good endurance. All right, we're gonna work two and a half punch a little bit because I've aggressively been avoiding that skill. Uh, it should only take a couple turns for it to be all good, and then we'll put in the routine, but yeah. Let's just do a few sets of that, and then we're good on floor. Because I did all my skills, did a full routine. I like fell, but not, not horribly falling. So like once comp comes, I got that comp adrenaline, I'll be good to go. Okay, that's good, we're done. All right, time for P-bars. This is gonna be the camera angle for the next couple minutes, and then we'll move it somewhere else so you can actually see what I'm doing. But yeah, we're gonna warm up first, so. Is that a local pong? Is that a local pong?
All right, routine. Keep our routine number one. because that last routine, pretty much everything went wrong with it. I slipped on both my skills. I messed up my cast, messed up my home. Everything kind of was just very off, which is fine. This is just training, it's not the competition, so it's okay. So we'll just do, we'll do one more. So keep our routine number two. He made a lot of money off the Super Bowl last night. Drake bought $1.9 million on the Chiefs. He posted, I can't go against the Swifties on this. And he won $2 million. He doubled the count. Imagine how he fought that guy. He came to the Super This is going beautifully. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do one more routine. Uh, whether this one's good or bad, then we'll be done. But the last two weren't really that. It sucked. They sucked. They were horrible. I'm not even sure coding it. Those bad routines, especially compared to the last three weeks of P bar routines, they were flawless. Now it was now it's just shit. So we're gonna try one more. So P bar routine number three. Can I do a backflip? Like, wait, now? If you can't, you can't. Okay. You are team number four. <laughs> P-Bars is done. New event, new mindset. Fuck P-Bars. So, so we're on high bar now. Okay. Uh, let's warm up, let's get started. Uh, maybe do a routine, maybe not. I'm kind of already, I'm done with the day. The day, the day's, in, for me, the day's already over. Okay. Just gonna go for a routine, then we're gonna go to Palma and do one routine, then we're gonna go home and never come back here. So let's get started, shall we? It's 
stuff, good stuff. Time to cold turkey routine. All right, cold turkey routine. Second, well, uh, second turn, I did Giants. It's impossible to focus with 30 kids running on the mat and kids jumping in the pit bowl. That's good. So all I can think about is if I miss or if I swing wrong, I'll hit a kid and then I'll be the one to get in trouble for some reason. So uh, we're just gonna restart the cold turkey routine because all I did was an endo and a stoop half-ish. All right, once all the kids over here are done, then I'll then I'll go. All right, now there's a new group of kids that just showed up right as I the other group finished. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna ask them to move and then I'll just go. So routine attempts number two, relatively cold turkey-ish. Good endurance. It was good endurance. Made the made the routine, and then and then I did a bunch of extra giants there because I was just waiting for the kids to to climb out so I didn't land on them. It was good. Good stuff. Anything you'd like to say? Yeah. Welcome back to my vlog, guys. Anyway, guys, Abby's not coming to the screen because she'll get in trouble, but I don't care. And the reason I'm wearing this is I my lunch spilled all over my suit today, so. Hi. Good routine. All right, I kind of stood around for a couple minutes and I was gonna do another routine. I was standing around waiting for the kids to be done, but there's now there's now a third group of kids over there in the pit and I'm not I'm not doing that again, arguing with Marco while I'm on the high bar. That was annoying. So, do you see the routine? You just did the I did an extra, giant you did, bro. bro, I did at least like 10 extra giants. Yeah, so high bar routine was good. We're just gonna finish on the one high bar routine I did and we're just gonna go to Palmo and just do like one routine. Unless uh, the Palmo routine goes as well as the rest of this day's been going. Yeah, as well. Eh, P-bars was the only thing that sucked. Let's just go to Paul, let's see how it is. If the routine's really good or decent or whatever, then we'll be done. If it's bad, we'll do a couple more. So yeah, Hyper was good though. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Paul, the last event of the day. We are not doing rings today. Rings can suck it. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of Palma, one routine, two routine, three. Well, we'll see how it goes. And then uh, I literally already said all this like 10 seconds ago to you guys, but it was like 10 minutes ago for me. So yeah, let's just get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're gonna cold turkey the routine. Ball routine number one. Oh, my shoulder's spasming. Awesome. We're not trying another. We're done with this day. Okay, guys, I already did the outro, but uh, we'll, we'll just cue the outro in a second here. In the outro, I'm probably gonna talk about how I only did one routine, but uh, I've now decided I'm gonna go for a second one. So yeah, Paul routine number two. Let's go. 100% Paulo routine ratio to this song. Oh, 
Let's go 100% ratio. 101%. 101%. All right, you know what? I was gonna say cue, cue the old outro I did, but old outro sucked. We're doing a new one now. Yeah. Yeah. In general, training today was it was all it was all right. But that's the end of the video. If you watched full video and enjoyed it, glad to hear that. If you watched full video, comment the word Sask. S A S K. Sask. Yeah, it's on your shirt. Okay. Bye, I love you.